myself a little bit more frequently. You can say what you want to say. I'm wearing an adult diaper right now. I don't know when it's going to happen no more. Just, I'm just saying, Chi Chi. I'm on a journey trying to figure it out. So since I'm on this journey, I need to talk to more people. So I do. I still have comedy club gigs. Like even, you know, I know most people would recognize you from where I guess you could say I consider myself more the secular side. So I'm secular and I, you know, I'll be, you know, I got stuff, you know, where they're like, hey, you might be doing a new season of Def Jam or you'll come back to do Funny First Saturdays with Damon in Chicago. It's, and so here, here's the deal. Um, I can't say I'm torn, but I'm trying to figure out. I, I tried the gospel route before. I tried it. It didn't yield what I was looking for which I needed to take care of my family. So this side was giving me the money. So that's where I was at. But I guess from what I'm experiencing right now, that's not what I needed. So I guess in this transitional period, what is it, I guess my question is, you know, what is it like when you totally commit. I, I'm loving the journey that you're on right now, dear. It's, it's wonderful to see God moving in your life. Um, I need you to I need you to remember though, don't think that there that God chooses signs. Everywhere you go, God is. He's out my presence, so there's no place you can go that God won't be. He said that even if you make your bed in hell, there you will also no. be. So you need to recognize that first of all. I use my celebrity every place I go. I'm going to sing the songs that they did here and sing. But before we leave that place, folk going to know who I serve. They're going to know that I serve a good God, a provisional God, a faithful God, a loving God, a caring God. But when you really, really acknowledge him, I mean, when you take, when you, when you really let him into your life, let me tell you what it's like. A whole new world, a dazzling place I never knew, but now from way up here, it's crystal clear. That now I'm in here Oh, no way With you Okay, okay, so One more question When I come on this side Can I still watch Empire and Power? Boy, I ain't got time for you I just want to watch it How many of you know it? Jesus <laughs>
Whatever your posture of worship is, that's cool. Spirit, so I respond to you. 
Give it up one more time for Bishop Hezekiah Walker. Y'all let him hear. All right, Shot Town. It's time one more time for us to play a game. All right? So y'all may have uh, heard this theme music. Bam! Give it to me. Tambourine right there, just. 
All right, uh, listen, uh, this game is called The Feud. Now, typically, you don't watch it on TV, it's been called Family Feud, but the way our budget is set up, they couldn't afford Steve, so they got me. It's called The Feud, all right? So we're gonna need two contestants. Do we already have our two contestants from the audience that are already here? We got our two contestants. Y'all, shout out, y'all gonna give it up for your people now. Y'all come on out here. All right, all right. How you doing, sister? Brother, y'all come on, y'all nervous? Come on, bring your sales on over here. Brother, what's your name? Vincent Caldwell. Vincent Caldwell, sister, what's your name? I'm Terry, with an I-E. All right, little attitude, I'll take it. Uh, I got you. Uh, Brother Vincent, what do you do? Uh, I actually have a car cleaning and detail business I've been having about eight years, so anybody need to hook up, holler at me. Boy, you can't hit the folk for Jesus. <laughs> Terry, uh, sister, what do you do? I'm a stylist. I've done it for about 15 years. I'm in between places, but I'm looking for something in the city. Okay, you in between places. That means you in the kitchens. Can you bring these sisters' edges back, Lord? Can you bring two or three edges back tonight? Amen. Uh, now listen. Y'all done seen this game on TV before, okay? So y'all know how to play it. And what we're gonna do is we, the teams is three and three, we need four people on each side. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna let Fred choose who he wants on this team. Brother Fred. Yes. Thank you, brother. Good, good, good. Well, uh, you do I need Israel, I need Fred. We surveyed uh, 100 people. The top five answers on the board. Name an animal that we eat that would not eat us. Fred. All right, he said, deer, let's go with it. Survey said. Here, there it is. It's up there. He said it. I don't care what you, I heard him. I ain't listening to him. It's wrong. Name an animal that we eat that would not eat us. It is. I would normally say pig because I like bacon so much. Yeah. But I also realize that pigs will eat something. They will. So uh, the next French is crazy deer. Regina, Auntie Regina Bell, uh, Auntie, name an animal that we eat that would not eat us. Yeah, I'm when you get a little money, you start eating different. <laughs> All right, All right. Uh, Gigi done said duck, let's uh, see it. Survey says. 
It's up there. No worries. Okay, no worries. Yeah, it was the last one up there, but so Casey J, name an animal. All these y'all can help them out. Na name an animal we eat that would not eat us. Yep. If chickens did eat us, we really need a Black Lives Matter movement. Let's see, chicken. It's up there, number two. It's up there, Terry. With an IE, you have an opportunity to steal and win the game. All right, win the game. Name an animal that we eat that would not eat us. Cow. That's a good answer. This is for the win. Can we see cow? I need Regina, I need Karen. Y'all looking real competitive right there. What's, what's that, the color purple look to you? All right, we surveyed a, a, another 100 people. The top four answers on the board. Name something that makes you itch. Mother Karen. I'm going with Polly and Esther. Oh, okay. Polly and Esther. Can't have one without the other. Let's see it, polyester. Okay, it's up there, Chief Fat, uh, Sister Regina Bell. Name something that makes you itch. There it is, all right, that, that, that will make you itch. Uh, can we see it, poison ivy. The number one answer, okay. What y'all wanna do? Y'all wanna pass or y'all wanna play? Y'all gonna play. Now y'all can help him out now. Casey, name something that makes you itch. That's a good answer. That's a good answer. No, but it will make you itch. Uh, can we see mosquito bites? It's up there. All right. It's back on you one more time. Terry with an I-E. This is for the win now. Name something that makes you itch. Come on, y'all. Uh, Terry, uh, I even hate to go further, but you don't have to be more specific than that. Uh, Terry, are you up here testifying? As a lady, you keep it fresh, so if it ain't you. Well, must be somebody you know. All right, not washing sufficiently. All right. Well, we got folks up here really bearing their soul all night. There it is. All right. I'm playing. All right, so <laughs> Casey and Bishop, Bishop, y'all need to steal, all right? Y'all down two nothing to Fred them, all right? Y'all need to steal. What is the problem most people have in their lives? Bishop, you were first. Money. Boy, there it is right there. That's a good answer there. That ought to get you back in the game. Let's see money. Okay, number two, number two, number two. Uh, Casey, you got a chance to steal. Name a problem most people have in their lives. Yeah, because depending on what day that direct deposit hit, you will be up and down. Let's see emotions. Okay, it's up there. So it's number three, uh, Bishop, y'all want to pass or y'all want to play? All right, all right. Brother Vince, little, uh, little stinking man. Why are you detailing cars and ain't washing yourself good? You need to put that pressure on. <laughs> All right, brother. <laughs> the Lord gonna see you through. Uh, brother, name a problem that most people have in their lives.
Lord. Um, you're going to have to deal with this in the car. I need you to know that. Let's, let's see. Being married. <laughs> well, that was something. Good answer. Yeah, he won the battle, but he gonna lose the war. <laughs> okay, y'all just argue about it in the car like they gonna do tonight. That's... Okay, sister. All right. We surveyed a hundred more people. A hundred more. <laughs> Name something that married women get tired of doing. I know we got other shows to do. <laughs> okay, Terry, with an IE, name something that married women get tired of doing. Jesus to be a fence. <laughs> no. All right, let's see it. Uh, bad loving. <laughs> no, thirty six said that. <laughs> Yeah, Chicago Live, man. Hey. <laughs> uh. <laughs> hey, man, listen. Uh, we're going to put you on the prelates. Because uh, you ain't washing sufficiently. You ain't take care of business. Lord, just. Ooh, Lord, just. <laughs> Stay focused, brother. You're going to get through it. Just, just hold on. Just a little while longer. Uh, brother. Come on, it's just a game. Let's stay focused. Name something that married women get tired of doing. Y'all, y'all help him out, cause he need it. Come on, brother. Sometime before Christmas, let's do this. It's just a game. That are here.
was just before the dawn. This might be the hardest season you've experienced. I want to remind you that you're closer than you think you are. Because when God is in it, there is no limit. So it's not
promise you can sing it. Sing it. Sing it over Chicago. Sing it over Gary and the other.
Congratulations to the Chicago Cubs for breaking the curse. And please thank Mr. Fred Hammond for this amazing Thank y'all for watching.